Welcome to Combo Collectibles, your source for all things collectible. I'm your host, Spencer, and today I've got a huge pop news update for you guys. Uh, there are some rumors online over the past weekend about some vaulted anime pops getting restocked, so I figured I'd do a quick video to try to give you guys all the info I found so far. Uh, so there was a website called FunkoPops.nl, uh, and they announced that they're going to be restocking some rare anime pops and some even vaulted pops, which is really crazy. Um, so they made a post on their Facebook here. We'll put it up on the screen so you guys can follow along, but it reads, uh, We've received a lot of questions about the Attack on Titan, Bleach, Tenya, and so on. Funko Pops uh, that are available for pre-order. Uh, these and more Funko Pops are getting a rerun by Funko, not Funko Europe, and will be available in most places outside of, it says Europa, I think that means Europe. Um, you will see other retailers offer them in the next few days, weeks, or months. Uh, for example, we offered the Luke Skywalker Hood 2017 Galactic Convention exclusive a few weeks ago for pre-order, and this rerun is showing up in some retailers outside of Europe right now, and more will follow. Uh, so it sounds like they might be the first ones who got them, uh, but they should be available elsewhere soon, which is great, because I'm in Canada. Uh, any shipping outside of Canada is always a pain. Uh, so if we see those popping up at some Canadian retailers soon, that will be really cool. Uh, it also says in the next few days we will have some more Funko Pop oldies that are getting a rerun, Dragon Ball Z, Fairy Tale, Horror, and more. Uh, so that's actually pretty exciting news. Um, a lot of people were really hyped about the Attack on Titan ones. Um, I know if you guys collected the Attack on Titan ones back in the day, they went crazy expensive really fast. Um, a lot of them are vaulted, actually. Uh, for the Attack on Titan ones, I know that uh, Aaron, the Armored Titan, Annie, Titan Aaron, Mikasa, and the Colossal were all vaulted pops uh, that are apparently now getting a rerun. Uh, so this website, FunkoPops.nl, actually did have those available for pre-order. Uh, now, it looks like those pre-orders are actually sold out now, but it, like I said, they're going to be doing it at other retailers as well, according to that post. Um... So they had all the ones on there, they had the uh, Titan Form Aaron, they also had uh, the Black and White Aaron Jaeger exclusive, the 6 inch Colossal, uh, the Colossal Black and White exclusive, uh, and then they also had the Rage exclusive Titan Aaron, uh, the regular Aaron Jaeger, the 6 inch Female Titan, and the Cleaning Levi. So m even more than just the vaulted ones they had available for restock, and all of those are kind of hard to get your hands on. I know they're really expensive too, especially with the popularity right now of Attack on Titan with the fourth season. Um, so if you guys paid a lot of money for those in the past, some people may be upset right now. Uh, they've spent a lot of money on their collections and now they might be available for cheaper. Uh, however, if you didn't get a chance to get those, it's an awesome opportunity with these coming up to actually start an Attack on Titan collection, which I may or may not do. I promised myself I wouldn't, but if they're going to be re-releasing them for like 20 bucks each, this is going to be tempting, you guys. Uh, also, we had uh, a few other ones on their website there. Uh, they had the Kurama from Naruto Glow in the Dark exclusive. I know that one, I think it's been restocked a couple times, uh, but it's still a very sought after pop, uh, and they're not cheap. So, if they're going to be re releasing those, you Naruto fans will be pumped. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, they had some bleach pops. Now, it looks like these ones are still available for pre order on their site. Um, so, we have Rukia. Uh, Renji with Sword, uh, the Black and White Ichigo exclusive, and the regular Ichigo as well. Um, and then the other one too was My Hero Academia, Tenya Ida. Apparently, uh, again, this pre-order is sold out on their website, but it said that other uh, retailers should be getting them soon. Um, Tenya Ida was vaulted really quick after he came out. I know he skyrocketed in price. Uh, a buddy of mine that collects My Hero, I think he paid like 140 bucks for his, and it had slight box damage too. Um, so I know... If you pay that kind of money for it and they're re-releasing them for like 20 bucks, it's going to be a little upsetting. But at the same time, it gives everybody a chance to actually get their hands on one. Because um, I know a lot of uh, younger collectors as well who really like My Hero and they just don't have the money to buy those kind of expensive pops. So this is going to be a great opportunity to get caught up on some of those. Now, they also mentioned Dragon Ball Z and Fairy Tail pops coming up soon. Um, I don't know all the Dragon Ball Z vaulted ones because I bought most of the Dragon Ball ones when they came out, so I never had to worry about that. Uh, the one that I don't have that I believe is vaulted is the original uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta uh, from Resurrection F. I believe that was a vaulted pop, so maybe that one will be coming out. They didn't actually make any official announcements for the Dragon Ball ones. Uh, and with Fairy Tail, uh, Wendy, Carla, and Gray, uh, which I have all of them up there in my Fairy Tail section, uh, those ones were all vaulted as well, uh, so we might be getting a rerun of those too, uh, which is really exciting. I'd love to see some new Fairy 
fairy tale pops too but that's a whole other discussion like i said this is actually a pretty exciting run of uh restock pops if this is coming uh like i said this is the only source i've really seen it from a few other people have been reposting that uh post from their facebook page uh, but we don't have any official information yet other than the fact that they had those pre-orders available yesterday for the Attack on Titan and the Naruto, and those are sold out now. Uh, so we'll definitely have to keep an eye out uh, in the coming weeks uh, for other retailers. Hopefully we'll be getting some in North America. Uh, I'm sure some U.S. retailers and hopefully some Canadian retailers will get them as well. Because uh, like I said, this is going to be a great opportunity to stock up on some of those rare anime pops and those vaulted pops that you guys missed out on on the first chance. So uh, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. If we get some more info or if I see anywhere uh, that they have them on pre-order again, I'll definitely let you guys know. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck finding these pops online and we'll see you all next time.